to demonstrate how to wrap pipe cleaners with wool, whether this be wool tops or wool sliver for needle felting. You may want to wrap pipe cleaners to do armature. I've also used pipe cleaners in the top of my pumpkins to make twiddly tops, in the tops of my tomters, fairy arms. There's loads of reasons you'd want to use pipe cleaners. So to begin with, we'll start wrapping with sliver. This is quite a short staple, which is the length of each individual fibre. You can see how short that is. This is brilliant for needle felting. Although when it comes to wrapping, you won't need to felt it too much. Take, instead of splitting this way, we're going to split lengthways. We're just going to take manageable lengths. So that's, I don't know, about a centimetre and a half by 12-ish centimetres. And we're wanting to keep this quite flat. You can almost see through that. You want to keep it nice and flat. And we'll start by wrapping. We don't start at the very end. We're going to start part way. And I'm just going to hold it on there, keeping it flat, wrap it around. And just give it a good twizzle in there. And the fibres from the wool want to automatically just catch on to the fibres of the pipe cleaner. Or chenille, as we should call it now. You can either twist your pipe cleaner or you can wrap your wool. Now when we get to the end, you can see we've just got the end of our pipe cleaner sticking through. This, you want to make sure the very, very end isn't poking out. So I'm just going to pinch the end of it and fold it over. And then start wrapping back in the other direction. Just holding it on. Like I say, this doesn't take much needle felting because the fibres want to cling to each other. There, and where you've got your last bit, just let that cling on to one another. Just at the end, I'm just going to felt that. Make sure that you don't stab too hard because remember there's a wire in there and you don't want to break your needle. But just the end. Just make sure that it's fully covered. And then once you've done your end and you're happy with that you can start building up the rest whether that be for a fairy's arm or to put in the top of a pumpkin. So that's doing it with the sliver. When it comes to wrapping with wool tops, it can be slightly more difficult just because the fibres are so much smoother than with sliver. But it's exactly the same. We're going to split it into manageable lengths, flatten it out into a nice ribbony shape, and then start part way. These, the staple length, so the fibre length of the wool tops is slightly longer than on the sliver. So you've just got more to play with in terms of the length and it can be a bit difficult getting started but once you're going it's less likely to break and split. And what you can also do is just draw it out a bit to make sure those fibres are nice and flat. What you don't want to end up doing is twisting these fibres and then wrapping. Because you will end up with these horrible, ugly little lumps and bumps. We're just going to make sure we stay nice and flat. 
it's much smoother finish with the wool tops than with the sliver. I'm just twisting that pipe cleaner. I've gotten to the end. You can't quite see the end of the pipe cleaner this time. And just pinch and bend. And then just wrap that down. I like to switch my pipe cleaner around when I'm going in the opposite direction. There's always one direction easier than the other. Again, I'm just on that last little bit and I'm just gonna let that go around. And just needle the very end, making sure that's nice and secure. That's the bit where you're most likely to get little bare patches. Obviously, if you're doing a fairy's arm or something like that, try to use a pipe cleaner that is similar to the colour you are wrapping with. So if it's fairy, use a peach pipe cleaner. If you can't do that, just use a white one. So as you can see, much, much smoother with the wool tops than the sliver. But give it practice, keep it flat, and you'll get a nice, neat wrap on your pipe cleaners. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. Happy crafting. Bye.